What's going on everybody? It's the Gunslinger here today with a tutorial on the Elgato 4K60 Pro software suite. Um, so let's get right into the video. Uh, first thing you want to do is come to the Elgato website and you're going to download the 4K capture utility for Windows. It is version 1.7.2 and requires Windows 10 64-bit or later. So if you are running the Windows 10 32-bit or Windows 7, you need to upgrade. Uh, Mac users, obviously this is not for you. Uh, this is a PCI card, so if you have a Mac, you, are, you don't even have this product. So let's get right into the software suite. So this is the uh, 4K utility. It's not as detailed and as uh, doesn't have as many toys and bells and whistles as the original uh, software suite, but it does the trick. So obviously this is the caption window at the top here. And in the library tab, this is going to be where you're going to see all your game uh, highlights, your recordings, things like that. And you can sort it by game, you can add tags. Uh, the smart folder will identify 4K videos, longer videos, shorter videos, smaller videos. Everything will, will show up in, in this window here. Um, going down to the bottom here, this is the uh, where you're going to name your uh, title of your, of your video. Uh, you can add the game tag or the uh, game, uh, the, the name of the game you're playing. And when whatever, whatever game you uh, call the, the uh, whatever game you make it is going to create the folder on your hard drive. So it's very important that you uh, sort by game because then that way when it records to your hard drive, it's uh, actually in order of by game. And then obviously you can add your tags for the smart folders. Uh, coming down here at the bottom, this is the record button. Obviously this is pretty straightforward. Just going to hit once to start the recording, once to stop, and then it'll just have that recording on your computer. This is for if you wanted to record, let's say, two or three hours of gameplay. If you're going to record smaller pieces, you're going to want to use the flashback recording, which we'll get into. This is the screenshot button, so you just tap it once and that's going to create a screenshot on your hard drive. Uh, this is the mic button, so you can mute your microphone or you can leave it unchecked so you can actually hear your commentary in your video recording. This is the gameplay mute and unmute, and this is obviously how loud your gameplay is going to be. Um, you're probably going to want to mute this if you're going to be streaming and recording at the same time because it will create an echo in your in your headset. Coming up to the top here, this is the source, so this is what uh, my capture card is recording right now, 2160 at 60 frames per second, and this is just a reminder of how much free space you have on your uh, hard drive. So let's open up the settings and go to general, and you can enable Streamlink. Um, this is the software version. You can set it for, uh, check for automatic updates, and you can send anonymous data to Elgato if you wish. Under devices, this is going to be the game capture 4K60 Pro MK2, obviously, and we just leave all of these on default. Picture, you can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue. Um, you probably want to up change your how your game looks inside your game, like on your PlayStation or Xbox, as opposed to in here, because this is more for um, if you're doing some editing in in here. But you, it's not really. It's not really designed for that, and I just don't think this is like, I mean, you can set the brightness up a little bit, I guess, if you wanted your recording to be a little bit brighter. I guess that looks a little better, actually. So let's uh, let's go with that. Um, in your recording tab, this is obviously going to be your library location, so you're going to set this to wherever you want. Uh, screenshot location, same, same idea. I recommend at least a two terabyte external, just so, because these files, uh, as you can see, are going to get pretty big. So you want to be able to... Uh, keep some of your some of your videos and, and have room for for uh, for a lot of your gameplay. Um, your video encoder is going to be what uh, renders the video. Uh, NVIDIA graphics cards are the only graphics cards that are supported. So if you have a Radeon, uh, like an AMD graphics card, you're not going to be able to use this encoder. You're going to have to use your uh, CPU uh, for encoding, which is going to be the software built in. Um, I recommend the RTX uh, series. It's uh, I think this program is actually, or this, this capture card is designed for the RTX architecture. So I think that's a better option. Uh, format, you can go all the way down to 720p30, all the way up to 2160, which is 4K at 60 frames. Um, you can set your bit rate to whatever you want. Just keep in mind that the, um, the lower you go, it's going to be obviously lower quality, less room on your hard drive. And if you go higher, all the way up to 140, you're looking at 61.5 gigabytes per hour. So remember what I said about... 
uh, a two terabyte hard drive because uh, if you wanted to do like a two or three hour recording, you're looking at you know 180 gigabytes uh, of hard drive space. Um, you can reduce the preview frame rate during recording, which is basically going to make this thing look kind of choppy, but it's just saving resources on your computer. It's not affecting your recording in any way. And this at the bottom here is the uh, flashback recording, which I'm going to get into because this can get kind of confusing. So I'm going to show you how this works. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set it to five minutes. You can set it, I think, all the way up to two hours, but we're just going to enable the recording right now and hit apply. Okay, so when we do that, we're going to look down here and you're going to notice that this timer is starting. So now you, we haven't actually recorded anything to the hard drive, but it's just running a recording in the background. So let's say you're, you're playing your game and something really epic happens and you want to clip it. So let's say we want to clip Jason smacking this wall. So now we're going to hit pause and it's the playhead's going to back up. So we're going to back it up to where Jason was going to go smack that wall. And then we're going to hit record once. And now it's, it's recording and then we're going to hit it again to stop. So now we've clipped that little that little maybe 30 seconds. So we're going to go to where our recording is. So Friday 13th in here, and this is our test footage. So let's open this up. And here comes Jason and he smacks the wall. So there you go. So we just clipped that little bit. So you can see here in the details, 17 seconds long, 4K, 60 frames. And it also records it also records, um, it splits all the audio. So you have your, you have your MP4, you have your uh, text or your uh, microphone commentary and your game commentary. So it's, it, it, it splits everything up so that if you wanted to edit in Adobe Premiere later, it, it, uh, it, it makes it super easy to, to bring in different audio tracks, which is really great. Other than that, that's pretty much how the flash recording works. Um, if anyone has any questions, please hit me up with a message or ask in the comments below. Just a reminder, you can find me on Twitch at Gunslinger Entertainment, and I'm also on Twitter at The Guns Blazing. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to making some more videos for you guys for streaming. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.